Jerseymoves.com. Jersey moves fast. Join the show that keeps you one step ahead. Jersey Central with Bert Barron. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. 820 back on Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio WCTC. The voice of Central Jersey. 34 fair skies. We'll get the traffic and weather update coming up in about five minutes. Susan Bloom is here. It is our look back at the best and worst of Jersey 2016, and we're going to get to uh, the celebrity passings and what a list that was. Uh, we'll get to that coming up after the 8.30 news, and then we'll get to our individual award winners. we got a bunch of different categories uh, for the best and worst of Jersey 2016. Uh, speaking of the best, uh, Susan, an interesting year, busy year for you, too, yes. with all the writing work that Absolutely. you do, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I write for a lot of publications in the area, and mm-hmm. it is a privilege to do that and you know same same as you really to serve this community yeah and one of the things I love best about my job is that I get to connect you know listeners and readers with all the amazing services and programs and people and initiatives that are going on out in the community and I just wanted to kind of share a couple sure, of sure. the ones that I thought really stood out this year okay from different articles that I've done I have done a an interesting series on children's specialized hospital They are based in Mountainside and New Brunswick. Uh, They have 12 locations throughout the state, and they've provided cutting-edge care and treatment to pediatric patients ever since they were founded in 1891. Hmm. And through all sorts of of pressing health health conditions over time, you know, from polio back in, you know, the the early 1900s to autism today. Uh, So, you know, celebrating their 125th anniversary this year, I'd like to say hats off to Children's Specialized Hospital for all that they do for children and families in our community. Some really good stories. I'm sure you heard from uh, caregivers and parents. And, uh, yeah, Absolutely. That had to be They're a, just quite an experience. providing life-changing care and treatment, very compassionate, caring, you know, and very cutting-edge on, on, uh, on technology and treatment today. Uh, a, a very interesting initiative came to my attention this year, and it, it's called Color It Forward. Hmm. Okay. It was launched by a Hunterdon County hairstylist named Michelle Gill, And this initiative has mobilized a number of hair salons throughout central Jersey to provide free hair makeovers to women in need, whether that be, you know, those struggling financially or dealing with, you know, issues like substance abuse or domestic violence or homelessness, any of those things. But this initiative has demonstrated how empowering something as simple as a great makeup, you know, makeover or a new haircut or hair color can be and how it can really help someone take the next step to changing their life. Color it forward. I like that. Color it forward. Just pay it forward. Color it forward. Color it forward. Um, You know, kudos to Michelle. I'd like to say in all of the many salons in the Color It Forward network, and I hope other salons will join in and just become part of this network and join the cause. Um, You know, quickly, just want to give a shout out to the Center for Network Therapy in Middlesex. Mm -hmm. This is a facility with a very unique and effective approach to treating drug addiction, Mm. which you know, we know is a scourge. In fact, I heard the statistic that heroin addiction is 2.5 times greater in New Jersey than the national average. I'm not sure why. Epidemic level, I would say. Epidemic scourge, but Center for Network Therapy in Middlesex, they've got a very effective treatment program there, and um, you know, we'd we'd like to give them a shout out. Good. And, you know, in this age of unrest, I'd like to wish a happy 40th anniversary to Mount St. Mary House of Prayer, which is located in the scenic foothills of the Watching Mountains. You can see the Mount St. Mary Academy from, like, Route 22. I, I think I've seen that before. Beautiful facility. Is that facility. what that is? Okay. And they have a, uh, a lovely spiritual center called the House of Prayer. You can go there regardless of your faith. Whatever you do or don't practice, the sisters there are very welcoming. It's just a very nurturing space, very comfortable. So we'd like to wish them a happy 40th. They opened in 1976. Uh, happy 40th anniversary to R.J. Brunelli, a leading Old Bridge-based real estate brokerage firm <laughs> celebrating okay. their 40th All right. uh, this year. Happy 20th anniversary to Lou DeGiovine and everyone at Excellent Physical Therapy in Bedminster. Mm. Um, just a tremendous practice there. And as always, a shout out to Frank Santana at Fit Image in Gladstone. He is a great guy and a personal fitness trainer. He will get you in fantastic shape for the new year. You meet the most interesting people uh, in your travels. I uh, I have to say, we've got (laughs) some (laughs) tremendous resources out there. I am just happy to be able to share their stories. Well, we look forward to uh, your work in 2017. Thank you very much. uh, a very special article. I understand that uh, work is underway. Work is underway. (laughs)
Can Ready? we say? Not, or, no, okay. No, let's, let's hold off on this. <laughs> There's one. a big one coming, people. Oh, I let's can't just wait. say that. All yes, right. it's going to be stuff, huge. Good stuff as always, Susan. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Jersey Central traffic and weather time. 825 traffic and weather every 10 minutes on Jersey Central. Back to the roads and Tom Colangelo. Had a pretty quiet trip continuing on the turnpike. We don't see any problems. Uh, looking at a decent ride also on the parkway. Route 18 with uh, no issues. 2A 